Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R and the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back for my second week of August reading wrap up. I did finish one book this week and that was The Privilege of Peace by Tanya Huff. So this finishes the second arc for Torn Kerr as she has embraced the life of a warden. And this one kind of feels a little bit disconnected almost. The jumping in and out of different people's perspectives, we didn't get as much action with it. We got more characters thinking about things and processing. We have a political angle that is happening throughout the book while Torin is trying to do her job and help train others to do this job as well. And then different little crises that are coming up that she's being sent out to deal with. I soft Dean up this the first time I picked it up because of the jumping around and the story just didn't feel cohesive, at least not like the other Torn books. If you look at all the events that are happening, it, it does feel more like real life, kind of how you'll have something happen here, and then you have over here, then you have over here, and then the, a thing that connects to that first one happens. So looking at it after I finished it, I can see why it was structured that way, but just having it take a departure from how the two previous books and then the five previous before that were structured makes this one feel off and I'm wondering if maybe her publishers are like all right this is the last one and so she was trying to wrap everything up maybe that's what was going on she's like I, I need to finish off these lines I don't know but you can definitely feel like this book is driving you to an end and then that ending it kind of feels like it needs to be a final ending, is how, how that feels. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this well or not. I did end up liking it pretty well, but I mean, I love Torn, and I love these side characters. So that helped propel me through it, but the jumping from incident to incident is not my favorite way to tell a story. And then, as I was watching YouTube videos this past week, I was very nicely reminded by Margaret Pernard that I had agreed to read Babel with her. And I was like, oh, yes, yes it is, uh, August, and yes, I have agreed to do that. So I quickly messaged her, like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to read this whenever. I already have the book on my shelf. So I have started to read this. That was my other focus this week. And since I can only really focus on two things, now the privilege of peace is done, I'm going to be continuing to read Babel with Margaret. And then I'm going to continue further with The Jasmine Throne. I don't foresee this being a huge reading month in quantity of books, but again, I'm reading some chunkers, so a little bit thicker books than I typically pick up. Usually, like, this is like my sweet spot, around 330, 350. I'm going to enjoy my reading either way, and I don't foresee me picking up something else after these two. For my writing wrap up, I thought for the longest while that I wasn't going to write at all. And after I filmed my last wrap up, I was like, you know what, that's, that's it. I'm just not planning to write. We'll see what happens. And of course, then my brain got contrary and as I am participating in the magical readathon, I kind of started writing an origin story for my character, Junia. Going back and rewatching G's original videos as she's talking about the world, and then looking to see, oh, how do things set up? So, yeah, that's something fun. And then also, Margaret Pernard has been doing fireside chats, and at the time that she does them. I'm at work still. 
So at the time that she's doing them, I can't watch them live. So I've been watching them on the replay. So in these, she's doing different sprints for different writing activities. And I am working on one of the short story props from the very first one currently. I have put together Haunted Portal and In Space, and I'm having fun with that. So I did more writing this week than I actually expected, but a lot of it was just stress-free. I'm just writing to be cathartic, I guess. Writing for enjoyment versus I am trying to write this project. And you know what? It's working for me. I'm happy. Then for other media, not doing a whole lot. This is where having the family was doing more family stuff. Did catch up on the newest episodes of Crime Scene Kitchen and Master Chef. And then before family came, I did continue in my rewatch of Elementary. Oh, and then my husband and I watched Interstellar last night. It's one we've watched before, one we both enjoy. Great cast. It, it has a very stellar cast. A nice, simple week. I hope your August is going well. Thank you, and have a good day.